We now interrupt your regularly scheduled video. What's up YouTube? Real quick before I show the video I intended on showing, I want to give a big shout out to Rory and Connor Shehan out in Ireland. Two little groms that have been following me. Asked for a shout out so I told them, yeah, I'd do it. There you go boys, you made it on YouTube. As for everybody else, thanks for watching. Beep. Now returning to your regularly scheduled program. What's up YouTube? It is Brutality, the protector of the couch and guardian of the keyboard. All right, we did it. I'm at 10th prestige. Today we're gonna mash through my stats really fast because I felt last time it kind of dragged on a little bit. And then we're gonna open some crypto keys. I managed to get this prestige pretty fast. So I don't have nearly as many crypto keys as I normally would. So this is gonna be a shorter video. Anyways, hope you enjoy. All right, still got that 1.68 KD with a win-loss ratio of 9.8. Uh, I had to quit a few lobbies. I always give excuses for that. Screw it. Sometimes I rage quit. Sometimes I don't like it. Oh, well, it is what it is. Down here, we got 2,796 headshots, 8 ruthless, 9 fury kills, 8 thumpers, and 522 tagging bags. Let's, let's check out the medals real quick for combat. It's, uh, 1,389 grounded. Scroll through uh, 366 Avengers, 22 knockouts. 4,637 Kingslayers, 173 triple kills, 9 Fury kills. I'm not really sure what the difference is on assisted suicide emblems. There's the ones with the, like, the triangle and the guy hanging himself. And then there's this one. What the difference is, I have no idea. 3,945 Revenges and 26 Afterlifes. I only started really getting Afterlifes once I started using the Hive. I found from a tip from a friend that if you wait to respawn, your Hives will last longer. So if you die... Just watch the kill cam and chances are that'll buy you enough time to get a kill if your hives were somewhere near you. Scroll on down, uh, 123 mercilesses, 8 ruthlesses, 1,350 bloodthirsty, 2,155 on the double kills, and 2,748 survivors, specialist wise, 22, 26 optimizers, bow hunters, and some other random stuff. Any specialists, here we go, 47 showstoppers, 33 robs, 28 cots. 14 hard stops it is really a hard stop man once the ripper starts going if you can stop it cool but chances are you're probably fucked all right over to bouncer i'm starting to think that maybe i like the servers more than the talent it just lasts so much longer and the hit detection is way way better now if you're running a support role obviously you want the talent because you can do call outs while you're doing that however if you're just trying to slay the entire team and especially if you're in a position where you got your team in a backpack in other words you're carrying them this is the way to go. GI units, 18 of those, still pretty fun. 68 buzzsaws, 139 crackdowns. And jet fighter, 13 of those bad boys. I've been practicing with them more. They're actually not that hard to fly once you get used to it. I don't know if they changed the dynamics. It feels like it suddenly got easier. Maybe I'm just getting better. Not sure which, but I guess it, uh, I guess it could be either or. All right, any score streaks? We got the shadow catcher, destroyed a wraith. I actually destroyed a wraith with my sniper rifle just recently. Uh, I was going through the sniper rifle challenges, and I had the Dracon, Draken, Draken, Drunken, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, uh, yeah, I just unloaded a whole clip into it and took it out. Only one pest control. I've only been able to destroy one rap ship, and that's because typically I don't even aim for them. I just try to stay off that side of the map. Uh, drone Hunter, we got one of those. 186 blackouts. Destroyed a hater. Only got one of them bad boys because not a whole lot of people use. Game modes. Played a little bit of other things. A little more S and D, so that number went up a little bit, and that is basically it. Still, just a bunch of TDM. I just head on over to public. Deadliest is still the VMP, still the go-to gun when I'm getting my ass kicked. Weevil's about half that with 4,000 kills. The KN44 is my favorite assault rifle. Although I gotta admit, the ICR with the new buff is a fucking laser. That thing is amazing. Uh, make our way down. 1,200 kills even with the ICR with the accuracy of 26%. Uh, that was actually one of the highest accuracies I have. Uh, the M8A7, also 26% accuracy. The CUDA, 22. The RK5, followed by the Havoc, KRM, some other things. Scroll on down. I'm trying to do the camo challenges for the Vesper, and I absolutely hate it. This gun is so worthless. I tried to get some good gameplay with it, and just I couldn't do it. We're talking like 20s and 5s, man. It's It's... Not not high numbers, just can't seem to get it down. Dracone. My accuracy says 26%, but I spam the crap out of this weapon. Uh, Locust is a 40%. See the difference? 
MR6, 33%. I actually really like this pistol. I still like the RK5 better. I still like the RK5 much more, obviously. But definitely, uh, definitely the way to go. I unlocked the wrench. I haven't even used it. I got the butterfly knife. Still haven't used that either. Uh, I'm hoping for some better stuff today. All right, there's some random noise going on in the background, and that is my dog. All right, I still don't know what to unlock, but we're going to head over to that now. And let's get ready to prestige. Enter prestige. Yes! Well, since I'm going to have some machine guns to go for, I'm going to go through and unlock the perk 2 greed so that way I can use my fast hands along with hardwired. So that is the one we are. We are now prestige level 10. All right, let's jump into the black market. I've only got 202 because I blasted through this so fast. So that's uh, 30 type six, 180. That's six of them. I'll probably be able to open seven with the bonus crypto keys. Let's get into it. Here we go. Superstition, do what you gotta do. Every first drop that I've ever done on every video is always terrible. That's I got the much loved firebreak good game gesture. Chances are I probably already even have that. All right, let's do it again. Nice. All right, we Seriously got nice. the sweep this outrider threatened gesture, the prestige Argus camo, and field haymaker camo, which I think I probably have gotten that about 20 times now the prestige argus camo i don't think i've ever even seen that before it looks pretty cool i don't have the argus unlocked because i just prestige irony we got one of the new heads that came out with the last batch of uh dlc the rabid rune head theme looks like an angry panda of some sort the foul moves room boast gesture and the verde shiva camo again we got a legendary here we got the inferno brm laser sight variant with a timber knife camo which i think everybody has and the violet kr262 camo and i got a hair in my mouth Puh. Ooh, trash myself. and trash field man of war field black sail camo and the i will break you no man threaten gesture come on quit wasting my time with this bullshit we got the much love profit good game gesture but let's move over to this legendary here we have the sharpshooter locust rapid fire variant and a verdi hvk 30 camo let's try again something 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 good Okay, we have the Caterpillar Serif head theme, the Contrast ICR1 camo, and the Inferno KN44 camo. We have 27 crypto keys left. Let's go burn me some duplicates. Five common and one rare. And just like that, we've got enough for one more rare supply drop. As always, fingers crossed. And drum roll, please. We got a War Torn Gorgon camo. That is sick. We got the Iron Gym melee weapon and the Break You Battery That's Threatened Gesture. Serious, serious weapon. Rainbow Drop, my favorite camo, and the Iron Gym Crowbar. Not a bad way to go out. Definitely considering the last one we had, uh, the last supply drop video I did, was not all that exciting. Okay. Oh, and. Technically, it's not the last one. We have enough for one more, so we are going to do that, although I am not expecting anything, and I am totally happy with that. So, let's dig in and hope for something good. Sumo Wrestlers, some paint shop material, and the not bad pro so Profit Taunt Legendary. Legendary out of a common, I'm happy with that. That is a, a good way to go. I am all out of crypto keys, as you can see. All out of time and all other things to talk about. So, y'all have a good one and happy gaming. There you have it, another gameplay in the book. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe right, button if you want to see more. Click on the screen to check out other videos you may have missed. Finally, and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.